In this video, I'll show you how to automatically create platform-specific hashtags for all the video content that you publish across social media using just the video transcripts, ChatGPT, and Zapier. I'll also show you how you can tag your content just like this to make it searchable within my content engine database. It's a system that allows you to store all of your content with a unique ID, with easy access to the status, with direct links to the copy of the images and the media. Now, I've been using this system for a long time and I've been able to tag my content since nearly the beginning, which is really powerful in terms of creating those platform-specific hashtags and also using those tags to search through all the content for repurposing. But as you can imagine, if you're creating a lot of content, going through each video or each piece of content and adding in a tag and being thoughtful about that so that it's actually meaningful data is very time consuming. And for the most part, we weren't consistent with it. But I finally got the time to use ChatGPT to do it for me, so let's jump in. So as you can see here, I have a tab here in Airtable that allows me to store all of the different tags that I wanna tag my content with. And then I can also come up with different keywords that ChatGPT should should look for in order to apply a specific tag. And then for each of the different tags, I can also set platform specific hashtags that I should be using when that content is published given a universal tag in this system. So if I tag a piece of content $5 rule in my system, when I go to post it on TikTok, we can use the make money hashtag. On Instagram, we can use the make money with video hashtag. And then on LinkedIn, we can use the video content hashtag. These are all just examples, but what I wanna illustrate is that you can use one tag in the system to tag the content but then in terms of actually publishing that content, you can use the proper hashtag for that platform that matches the tag in your system. That way, when you're posting on these different platforms, you're not just sending out hashtags across all the platforms, assuming that they all use the same hashtags, which they surely don't. So first things first, in order to actually tag content, we have to upload content. So I have a bunch of videos here that I've uploaded that we can use as a test case. And I'll jump over to my content inbox here where we can see several of those videos have come into the system. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the tagging section, which is where you can tag all of this content manually. Like I showed you before, you can open up the list of tags and you can apply one or you can apply multiple tags. You can do that for all your different videos. Let's go ahead and erase these so we can go ahead and do the demonstration. I'm gonna jump over to Zapier. I already have this Zap loaded up and I've already run through the process here. So I'll show you the end result just so you can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and run this test here. Go ahead and test this. And if we jump back over to Airtable, what we're going to see is that it added three tags to this video and then applied the platform specific hashtags as well. So let's go ahead and erase these and then start over from scratch just to walk you through each step so that you can replicate something like this for yourself. So the first step is really just figuring out which Airtable record we are going to process. So this first step here is really just looking for the specific Airtable record that we want to process. Your use case might differ unless you actually purchased my content engine database. But in a nutshell, each of these rows is connected to a video in frame.io, which I can pull down and process and then ultimately apply the hashtags. So in your use case, you wanna make sure that you can trigger and pull up that video so that you can then continue forward with the rest of the steps. So this next step as well is really not important to the overall process. I'm just filtering and only processing videos because if I'm not processing a video, I don't have a transcript and so I can't run through the process. But of course, you could also run through this process if you wrote a text post, but this example is using video, so I filter out anything that is not a video. And then in this step, all I'm doing is loading up the frame.io video from frame so I can get access to that video file so that then I can continue on with the next steps. So here's where the majority of the magic happens. In this step here, let's go ahead and take a look at the action. I'm taking that file that we got from step number three and I'm simply creating a transcript from that video. And I'm using OpenAI's Whisper to do it. It works really well, but just keep in mind that it can only process videos up to 25 megabytes. And so I'm actually using the lowest quality video that I can from Frame.io. Frame.io will give you access to several different types of the video. It gives you the original, but it also gives you proxy versions. So I'm sending that proxy version because it's a lot smaller. And I really don't care about the video quality. It only needs to read the audio to produce that transcript. So then we can move along to step number five. This is where we actually use ChatGPT to scan that transcript and then turn it into the various tags. So we'll go ahead and open up this step here and take a look at the action. So I've built this ChatGPT prompt and I'll break it down. This first section here is filled in with the hashtag data that we designed in Airtable. So if I jump back to the tags and I look at one of these hidden fields here, you can see that I've created a calculated field that combines the hashtag with the keywords into a format like this. And then I can give ChatGPT a simple message. Above is a list of tags and for each hashtag, a series of keywords. Each tag and set of 
keywords on its own line. Luckily, ChatGPT is pretty forgiving. It didn't mind that I didn't have an of there, but I went ahead and added it. And then I continue, each line contains a tag on the left, followed by a comma, followed by a list of keywords and quotes that are separated by commas. So if we take a look here, I'm really just describing the data set so that ChatGPT understands what I've given it. Now analyze the paragraph below, and then you'll see I have a paragraph here, which is the transcript that comes out of step number four. Now analyze the paragraph below and reply back the tags that are relevant to the text I provided given the keywords. So it's saying, analyze this text, give me the tags that are related to the keywords that you find in this paragraph. Return each tag separated by a comma. So if we go ahead and run this, and by the way, most of the rest of these settings here are all just defaults. We can go ahead and click continue. We can retest this step, gonna send it to ChatGPT, and then we can analyze the results here. So we have the response, and we'll see here that it responded with content, video mindset, content at scale. So if we jump back over to our tags here, it was able to find content at scale, video and mindset, which means in the transcript itself, it found Gary V, video and belief. And these are just examples. You can get pretty detailed on what keywords you want to use so that it will apply the proper tag. And then finally, in this last step, all we do is update this record that we triggered off of in step one, and we update it with those relevant tags. So we'll jump over to step six here, and we will just test this, retest the step. If I jump back over to Airtable, over to the content, we'll notice that those tags are now here again. I'll go ahead and remove those, show you again, and you'll see they pop right up. So let's go ahead and run it on a different piece of content and just see what happens. I just created a video ad for TikTok. Let's go ahead and run it on that. Let's jump over to the trigger and we'll click this here and we'll test it, pull in a different record, find new records. We have that video agency now. We can go ahead and continue. Again, we'll test this. It only continues if it is a video. Then we'll find that asset in step number three, retest that step. It successfully found that video. Now let's go ahead and create the transcript. Now let's take a quick look at the content that was pulled out of the video. I'm not exactly sure which tags this will trigger, but we'll go ahead and see. Let's go ahead to the next step in step five. I'll scroll down and retest this step. Let's see what it came back with. We have video systems, automation, and content at scale. And then if we come back over to step six and we test this out, we can retest it, jump back over to Airtable, and we'll see that it has those new tags. And then again, what's really cool for TikTok, we're going to use these TikTok specific hashtags. For Instagram, we can go ahead and use these platform specific hashtags. And then on LinkedIn, we can go ahead and use these platform specific hashtags. And of course, for all the other platforms, we can create platform specific hashtags that correlate to our tags in the Airtable system. So there you go. You can see how easy this is, assuming you have a system built out to keep everything organized so that you have the data to send to ChatGPT to get the transcript, analyze the transcript, and then you have the data in some sort of system like Airtable to describe the different tags and the different hashtags that you should be using across different social media platforms for a given tag in your system. So I hope you found that video valuable. If you wanna build out your own automated content system so that you can build out your own automations just like you saw in in this video, make sure you check out the next video. It's popping up on your screen right now. It will show you how to build out your own automated content system in Airtable. It'll go through the zaps, all of that stuff. Make sure to check out that video and I'll see you there. Have a good one.